rice, wheat, or flour. See which feeds soil microbes best in just days. Your garden's biggest comeback might not start with compost, fertilizer, or, you know, any fancy soil amendments. It might actually start with a bag of something sitting quietly in your pantry. Rice, wheat, or flour. One of these three everyday ingredients can wake up sleepy soil microbes so fast that you'll see changes in texture, smell, and plant response in just a matter of days. And today, on Timeless Crops Haven, we're diving into the experiment that proves exactly which one deserves the crown. If you've ever wondered why some gardens seem to explode with life while others struggle no matter how much you water or fertilize, the answer is usually invisible. Soil microbes are the real engines of plant growth. They break down organic matter, unlock nutrients, create structure, and help roots access everything they need. When your soil is microbially active, even struggling plants start to perk up. When it's not, you can throw all the fertilizer you want at it and barely see results. That's why this kitchen staples test matters. Feeding microbes the right kind of organic food can jumpstart nutrient cycling faster than most gardeners expect. Going into the experiment, each ingredient brought its own potential. Rice carries a clean, simple carbohydrate source. Wheat grains offer natural starches plus a bit more complexity. And flour, being finely ground, seems like it could become an instant microbe buffet. Gardeners use versions of all three in different ways. Rice water is a traditional favourite for plant feeding. Wheat bran shows up in compost mixes. Flour appears in natural sprays and soil treatments. But none of those uses clearly answer one burning question. Which one feeds microbes the fastest when applied directly to soil? To make this a fair, real-world test, each ingredient was mixed into identical soil samples without any additions or boosters. The goal was simple. Same soil, same moisture, same environment. The only thing changing was the ingredient being fed to the microbes. For gardeners wanting to replicate this at home, here's the exact formula used. Mix two tablespoons of your chosen ingredient with one cup of non-chlorinated water. Stir until the mixture forms a smooth slurry. Pour this evenly over two cups of soil and lightly blend it into the top layer. This ratio ensures the microbes get enough food without suffocating the soil or creating anaerobic pockets. Once each soil container was treated and moistened evenly, the waiting game began. But, you know, the wait didn't last long. Within just a few days, major differences started showing up. Texture changed, smell changed, colour changed. And, well, one ingredient pulled ahead with stunning speed. Flour crushed the competition. If rice and wheat were warming up the microbes, flour was sending them straight into overdrive. Within just a few days, flour-treated soil became noticeably darker and richer. The earthy smell really intensified. The soil structure softened and broke apart with that crumbly living feel every gardener loves. This wasn't a subtle shift. It was a microbial explosion. The reason is, honestly, surprisingly simple. Microbes thrive when organic material is easy to access. Flour is already broken down into extremely fine particles. That means every bit of its carbohydrate content is exposed and ready for microbial digestion. Rice and wheat, still trapped in their grain form, take longer for soil organisms to penetrate. Flour, on the other hand, is instant energy. 
That instant availability fuels rapid microbial reproduction, which then boosts nutrient cycling and soil activation in record time. While rice did show mild improvement and wheat produced moderate activity, neither came close to the speed or intensity delivered by flour. For gardeners looking for fast, affordable, beginner-friendly soil revitalization, flour is honestly a game-changer. If you're ready to bring that same microbial surge into your garden, the method is simple. Just mix two tablespoons of plain flour with one cup of non-chlorinated water. Stir well to avoid clumps. Then pour the mixture over the soil you want to activate. Scratch it lightly into the top inch of soil. Then keep the area evenly moist for several days. But, you know, avoid oversaturating. Microbes need moisture, not mud. Within a week, the soil will begin to feel more alive. Plants rooted nearby may show improved colour and vigour as microbial activity improves nutrient availability. For extremely depleted soil, this treatment can be repeated once every two weeks until the soil shows consistent improvement. The key is balance. A little flour feeds microbes, but too much well, it overwhelms them. Moderation keeps the system thriving and prevents any temporary smell or pests. Think of flour not as fertilizer, but really as microbial food. When used correctly, it becomes one of the simplest ways to energize tired garden beds, container mixes, and even raised beds preparing for seasonal planting. The biggest takeaway from this experiment is how accessible soil transformation can be. You don't always need specialized products to build healthy soil. Sometimes the fastest fixes are sitting right in your kitchen, just waiting to be rediscovered. Flower's rapid effect on soil microbes proves that small, inexpensive interventions can make a dramatic difference in plant health. When microbial activity rises, root development strengthens, water retention improves, and plants respond with more growth and resilience. For gardeners trying to revive compacted soil, boost a new garden bed, or prepare for a heavy feeding crop, using flour strategically can create the foundation for a thriving season. It's quick. It's easy and it works with the natural biology that already exists in your soil. Here at Timeless Crops Haven, we absolutely love experiments that reveal the unseen forces in gardening. This rice, wheat and flour face-off is just one chapter in understanding how simple ingredients can transform the ground beneath our feet. If flour can do this much in just a few days, Imagine what happens when we combine it with compost, mulch, or long-term soil-building strategies. And if you're curious about how these ingredients behave in different climates, different soil types, or under different watering conditions, stay tuned. There's so much more to explore. If this guide helped you understand your soil better and gave you a new tool to boost your garden's life, make sure you subscribe to Timeless Crops Haven, leave a like, and share this with another gardener who could use a quick soil revival. Your support keeps experiments like this coming. In San Nen, Tams, Camus can, can, Kaitis, Discanders, in San. Um, in Gaham, wow, m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m m